The other thing we might do is we've got to do some tax extenders. So I want to spend a minute or two to talk about that because I'd say in the last four months, no issue is where is this? It's not, not the uh, Islamic State, not you know Hamas, not Vladimir Putin, certainly not the Farm Bill, but no issue has come to my attention more often than the issue of 179 expensing. Now, I don't know if you all know, um, but you know the $25,000 versus $500,000 um, threshold for being able to deduct expenses, equipment expenses, pretty big deal. And um, and as you notice now, because of the uh, of the uh, expiration on 179 expenses, it's back on $25,000. And the House of Representatives took up a number of extenders, including 179 expenses, and we did the very bold thing of making 179 expenses at $500,000 permanent. Can you imagine that? Permanent with, by the way, um, with a, a little growth every year for inflation. Well, we did the same for bonus depreciation, which is you know allowing a 50% deduction of the year that a large asset is uh, attained or expense at 50% uh, of the year that you incur the expense. Um, R&D credit, uh, charitable IRA rollover for you rich guys that aren't quite 70 yet and you want to roll over some of your IRA money to your church, Dale, I know you probably want to do that. Um, we, we, did, we, we want to allow you to do that tax free. So we did a number of things and put it into permanent law. And of course, like all of those other 380 bills that we passed this year, the Senate hasn't dealt with any of them. But they, but they have to be dealt with because, of course, many of them have expired. So here's what I think is going to happen. I don't know if maybe the senators talked to you about this. The, 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 everything's still in place. So one of the possibilities, and frankly this is the one I, I personally prefer, would be that uh, as the Senate works through their complete extender package, they're going to put all these things into one package along with other things like the production tax credit for wind, and you know, it's about, I think, 30 to 50 extenders. Not as important as 179 expensing to me anyway. And, um, and what the Senate generally does is they like two or three year extensions. Now remember, we're already a whole year just about through one of, the, the, one of those years. So whatever we do is going to be retroactive to this year. And if you haven't bought your new tractor or combine, you're going to have Christmas Day to do it probably the way it's looking. But, um, but if you have, you get to deduct it. Well, the... Um, the Senate likes to do two or three year extenders, and the reason they like that, of course, is they like those lobbyists coming back on a pretty regular basis, you know what I'm saying? But that doesn't help you all much. That doesn't provide the type of certainty that a good, robust, free enterprise system needs. And so the House has made the permanent, and we'll see. We thought maybe if we can take our permanent leverage, since we have a bipartisan vote on it, up against whatever it is they're trying to do, um, maybe we can at least get a five-year extension and a seven-year extension, maybe as much as a ten-year extension on 179, bonus depreciation, and some of these other things. That's one possibility. The other possibility, and might even be a little more likely, is that uh, the Senate would come out with a, with a maybe a two-year extender that would be you include 2014 and probably 2015, and then during 2015. Paul Ryan will no doubt, well, I should say no doubt, there's some competition, but will likely become the Ways and Means Committee Chair. And, um, and the House and Senate will start working on a comprehensive tax reform package that would deal with all tax issues. I just assume get these specific ones done, get them done well, get them done under the same philosophy of free enterprise and, and uh, allowing people to keep more of their own money, especially in capital intensive industries, to reinvest. Um, so I'd like to get those things out of the way in the fall, but if we don't, if the Senate comes with a short-term package, we'll take it, we'll take it, and then we'll go to work real hard next year on a more long-term permanent uh, tax reform package that includes all of those things. So I, like I say, I live through that, I throw both options out because I don't know which one way it's going to go. Um, I just know that both are still in negotiation with the Senate.